Let's talk about Canada's elite class, a group of people full of out-of-touch weirdos who the general public either doesn't know who they are or doesn't like them at all. And yet they are given artificial respect by our institutions in Canada. The legacy media constantly has them on their shows. Political institutions hold them up as heroes of progressive Canada simply because they have progressive politics. At the same time, these people are obviously unfunctional. These people hold positions that literally not 1% of Canadians actually believe in because their minds are so pickled from being in a progressive echo chamber that they have no ability to connect to the average person anymore. I think a great example of this is this clip that TVO posted themselves of Sherry DeNovo going on this weird sort of half rant sort of story time where she proves that she is an absolute crazy person thinking that we should normalize nudity to children. I had a tweet that went viral that said, uh, you know, who's not on Epstein's list? Mm -hmm. Drag queens who read stories to children in libraries. <laughs> yeah. What's your point, Sherry? I, I know that she thinks that this is such a great sort of like yas queen type moment. That's not a point. Seven billion people are on this planet, and none of them were on the list either. So I don't know what her point is here. I guess now drag queen story hours in schools is perfectly okay, because did you know there wasn't a drag queen on Jeffrey Epstein's flight logs or whatever? But this is this is considered good commentary in the mind of Sherry DeNovo, a woman who used to be an NDP MPP from Ontario, 2006 to 2017. So she should at least be somewhat good at being able to connect to the average person and know what their priorities are. But this is considered a good point in her mind. Right. Um, and there's nothing shameful about sex. It's all through the Bible. I just have mm -hmm. to say that as a person of faith. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to, spoiler alert, uh, Sherry, Sherry DeNovo is, is not a woman of faith. She, she's basically somebody who I think is like a fake pastor or something like that. Uh, yeah, she's not. She she just purely uses it as a weapon to attack Christian people. Um, there is nothing shameful about a naked body. And I took my children when they were very little. We went to Mardi Gras in New Orleans. There was a lot of heterosexual nudity, <laughs> yes. I have to say. And my what, You can see Steve Pakin's face just, like, dying. I like Steve Pakin. I know he's a little bit more liberal. He's a nice guy. You can see him on the right there just dying. The woman next to Sherry DeNovo is uncomfortable. Sherry DeNovo is somebody who you're supposed to deeply respect because of her work on, you know, gay issues or gay marriage issues. But like, you can even tell even progressive people don't want to be around her, but they have to have her around because she is a Canadian elite at this point. My son, who is like five, they were throwing things to him, like beads and stuff. <laughs> yeah. He had the whale of a time. Yeah. Um, I mean, don't also don't take your kids to Mardi Gras. I, I'm pretty sure Sherry DeNova is just showing us that her mind's pickled that she would take young children to Mardi Gras. Adults shouldn't go to Mardi Gras. Here's a chance for parents to talk to their children about sexuality and nudity. Um, so, I mean, I think, you know, for my generation and other generations, sometimes we're squeamish about it. We shouldn't be. Yeah. Um, turns out turns out past generations uh, probably had it about right. Probably, probably had it about right. Yeah, don't don't talk to your kids about nudity and sexuality. That's weird. Just talk to your kids about things that your kids should know about. Uh, but there's this kind of really strange, sleazy, leering kind of progressivism who really just likes being progressive because it enables them to talk about things that are frankly not safe for work. And that's exactly what Sherry DeNovo is doing on TVO here proving why nobody should ever listen to her. Like, I, I'm baffled, and I've seen this clip like five times now. I, I mean, this is part of human experience, and it's an opportunity for learning. Uh, and uh, it's... We're learning about what? What are we learning about? What is someone who takes off their pants doesn't have pants on? What are we talking about? I, you know, it's when it becomes shameful that it becomes dangerous. Oh, yes, yes. Nudity only when it's shameful is dangerous. Guys, naked bike riders in your town streaking across, you know, football fields, uh, you know, flashers, whatnot, all these people. They're, it's only would be bad if you started shaming that behavior. I'm going to put it to you that the highest value in society shouldn't be having no shame. I think there should be shame around certain things, like not wearing clothes in public, like constantly talking about sexuality to children. I think that's a shameful activity to be taking part in. But people like Sherry DeNovo who are so inside the progressive bubble, believe that 
no, 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 no. We always need to be more progressive. We always need society to move forward even more because forward is good and backwards is bad. When really what I want is a normal society full of normal people who aren't obsessed with the topics of sexuality and like nudity the way that Sherry DeNovo is. If you can't stop talking about it, there's something wrong with you. And I think that we probably need to actually start setting out some good examples in what I would consider our elite class for young Canadians. The people that our institutions, school systems, political institutions, legacy media holds up as important Canadians are people who nobody should respect, who are do not are not people of integrity. Sherry DeNovo is not a person of integrity. She's a nasty slanderer. She goes around basically stumping against every single conservative she can find as some fascist, some bigot, because don't you know that I'm Sherry DeNovo and I'm for some reason an authority on rational, like, social policy? She's not. She's just a crazy person who, for some reason, the progressives use in order to act as a wedge in order to push more progressive progressivism down the throats of Canadians. Anyways, I'm going to keep this to a shorter episode. That should be it for me today, guys. If you want to donate to my Give, Send, Go legal fund, it's in the description below. Uh, that would really help me out. We have a $29,000 lawsuit. Some guy's suing us for defamation, and he has not proven any defamation in two and a half years. Hasn't even submitted any evidence to prove that we defamed him. So if you can give any money to that, it really helps take the burden of cost off myself and allows me to focus more on this show rather than trying to generate money elsewhere in order to make sure I can actually pay bills. That should be it for me today, guys. Have a good one.